Paul Byron had his first career hat trick against the, against Detroit in the 10-1 win on last Saturday night. Uh, he's got nine goals so far in 28 games. Do you think it's possible for him to have a 30 goal season? I think so. I mean, he had what, 22 last year. He's uh, he's playing on the number one line now, so I, I don't see why not. I mean, he's he's had about. 10 breakaways this year, and I think he scored on two of them. So if he gets those breakaway moves down a little bit more, I don't see why he can't score 30. I mean, I would 20, I think, is almost the given the way he's playing now, and you know, possible 30, maybe. I don't think so. 30 is a big number in today's mm. NHL. If he got it, it would really, really surprise me. I love the way he plays, obviously, and I've just been speaking about how the game has become a speed game in the NHL, but you got to have some pretty damn good hands to get 30 in today's NHL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 30 might be pushing it. It can be done. He has to stay healthy and, um, uh, and, and create those opportunities like he has. 25, uh, you can maybe bet on 30. Uh, yeah, surprise. The thing with him, he goes so hard to the net, and playing with Drouin and Galchenyuk, if, they, if Galchenyuk starts shooting the puck a little more, there'll be rebounds there for Byron, who's always willing to go to the dirty area to pick up the puck. So it's, um, as I said, I wouldn't bet money on him scoring 30, but uh, I don't think it's a total, totally impossible. If, if he were to hit 30, he'd have to, on two-on-ones, stop trying to hit the pads of the goalie so the rebound could be had by the other guy on the two-on-one. Yeah. That's for sure, because yeah. you're not going to get that additional five trying to hit the guy's pads, which is an Incredibly smart play, of course, uh, but not one that you score the goal yourself. Well, the breakaway goal he had the other night when he had the hat trick, one of them, the first one was a wrist shot high to the glove side. Beautiful shot. And I met and talked to him after the game, and I said, is that something you've worked on? He said, well, I've been at practice. He says he was frustrated he was missing breakaways, and he tried that move a couple of times in Carey Price, and it worked. So he said, if I can beat Carey <laughs> Price in practice, I yeah. can probably beat other goalies in a game. And he was right. Mm -hmm. I'm betting on 30. I believe in you, Paul Byron. I think you can do it. You got, you got my vote. Go to HockeyInsideOut.com now to check out this week's full episode.